You know the Mandela effect? That bullshit theory that claims that there's an alternate universe where Bernstein is spelt the way you thought it was when you were five. Bernstein? Bernstein? The term Mandela effect in formal terms refers to a situation in which a large group of people believe a situation occurred that did not. You remember the children's book when you were growing up about the family of bears? The Berenstein Bears. Berenstein. S-T-E-I-N. We've been hard to reach lately. I just, just started noticing some things. And... Like what kind of things? We're living in parallel universes. Can you picture the Monopoly man? Yeah. What's on his face? Monocle. Apparently, it's never been the case. The Mandela effect. Either we're sliding between parallel realities, or like a simulation, and it's glitching out. Do you hear yourself right now? The term was coined in 2009 by Fiona Broom when she took it upon herself to make a website chronicling her own experiences with the phenomenon. Most notably, and the namesake of the effect, was her experience chatting with friends about civil rights leader Nelson Mandela, and how she remembered the former South African president dying in prison in the 1980s, while in fact he actually passed in 2013. Girlie got some history wrong and decided to make a whole theory about alternate realities. <laughs> God, I wish I had that kind of confidence. Anyway, does anyone remember Graggle Simpson? The Simpsons, America's cartoon family, doesn't even need an introduction. The Simpsons is an animated sitcom created by Matt Groening that premiered on the Fox Network in 1989. It is currently on its... 33rd season. The show features a wide array of lovable characters that delighted audience up until about season 10. Mustache does not want to stay on. The Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons themselves are an all-American family, with buffoonish patriarch Homer, who works at the local nuclear power plant, his all-American housewife Marge, the 10-year-old troublemaker Bart, the precocious 8-year-old activist Lisa, and baby Maggie. And then of course, showrunner Matt Groening's self-insert character and the voice of reason in the family, Grumbly Graggle Simpson. Graggle is who we're here to talk about today. Graggle had a total of 29 appearances in The Simpsons before being unceremoniously killed off in season three, episode one often serving as a sort of voice of reason straight man character and a foil against Bart's rambunctious nature. Rambunctious? Rambunctious. <laughs> At least throughout season one. It wasn't until seasons two and three that he morphed into the character you probably remember. A sort of secondary comic relief character within the family behind Homer. If there was a singular moment that defined Graggle's brief time on the show, it would probably be the season one episode, Bart the General, when Graggle encouraged Bart to stand up for himself in a truly motivational speech. It was honestly really stunning and kind of out of place with the rest of the show. While not beloved by everyone, many critics argued that Graggle did not match the aesthetic of the rest of Springfield. America was still devastated when the character was mysteriously written out of the show without warning, and eventually erased from Simpsons history entirely. Scripts were edited, episodes were added, deleted, re-edited, all until Graggle was gone for good. Eventually forgotten entirely. Except, of course, none of that really happened.
Graggle Simpson is the internet's favorite character from The Simpsons, but that doesn't mean he ever existed. In recent weeks, he's been tweeted about, TikToked about. Reddit it about, blogged about, you name it. Graggle even has his own page on the Simpsons wiki. In fact, you wouldn't be blamed if you fell for the Graggle lie. Fans of the character have been digitally editing him into classic Simpsons episodes and uploading them to YouTube as a form of proof. He's been given this in-depth character history with a very intense production lore behind it, ranging from mysterious voice actor deaths to annoying Matt groaning self-insert characters. On October 4th, 2015, an anonymous 4chan user uploaded the very first image of the character that was then known as Gumbly Simpson. Adding the character into a photo of the Simpson family and uploading it into the live Jupiter image board. However, this was just that, an image. Nothing else. The real fun didn't start until years later. The character name changes from source to source. Some refer to his full name as Grumbly with the nickname Graggle. Some simply call him Weird Matt when he's being referred to as a Matt groaning self-insert. But no matter his name, all these sources have the same core premise. Graggle Simpson was added to The Simpsons early in the show's life, only to be erased from history by the production staff out of embarrassment or grief if you're taking the mysterious voice actor death approach. Graggle in his full form first appeared where most hoaxes do. 4chan in 2021. This post of origin claimed that Graggle was a self-insert, featured early in the production of The Simpsons. The post also claimed that Graggle was eventually written out and dubbed Weird Matt by the rest of The Simpsons team. Another early Graggle post claimed that the character was named Gumbly and that he was actually a new addition to the Simpson family, only appearing in recent episodes, with one commenter going so far as to complain that the production team was digitally inserting Gumbly into old uh, episodes of The Simpsons to try to push the character onto audiences. Another iteration of the hoax, meme, urban legend, whatever you want to call it, has Graggle as a forgotten side character who was dropped years ago due to unpopularity, a la Scrappy-Doo. Wow, I haven't seen- Look away, Daphne. We all promised each other that we would never speak of him. Not ever. But was now making a comeback. This is the take that's led to the most recent influx of um, screenshots of old Graggle memories and clips from the show. Here's a selection of some of my favorites with credit um, and the originals will also be linked in the description. Um, I just really love these uh, and the effort that um, clearly went into them. I just, I love the production quality of these Graggle memes. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock the episodes on the Simpsons DVD box sets with Graggle restored back into the episodes. Um, Graggle, Weird Matt, Gumbly, whatever you want to call them. Now, this will work on any of the DVD box sets. I just chose a random one. This is season two. So, I'm just gonna go through the episodes right now to just show you they're just the normal episodes, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the main menu and go up to the top, the very top button. And from there, you're gonna press the right arrow on the remote 10 times in a row, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, see, you get a button on Krusty's face. Press the button. Okay, so it looks like nothing happened, right? But go back into the episodes. See? 
now you have all the episodes with Graggle back into the episodes. And again, you can do this on any of the DVD box sets, not just season two. I just am showing you this as an example. That is how you do it. Anyway, why did I open this video with an explanation of the Mandela effect? Well, on May 22nd, 2022, Facebook user Yalib Recep made this post, including the original Graggle image, captioned, New Mandela effect just dropped. This universe doesn't have Graggle Simpson. Which led to, well, confusion among those, we'll say prone to believing in such things. See, by this point, Gumbly slash Graggle had been around certain corners of the internet for a while. So evidence was out there and the people who had been collecting it responded to this Mandela effect post in force and they brought their receipts. One of the biggest contributors to the meme, user Calm Down Level Up on Twitter, was recently interviewed by Vice and had this to say about the whole thing. I just think it's funny that people get angry. It's just a funny thing to gaslight people with, Jackson says. You hear so much in the news about fake news and Russian misinformation. It's a very satirical take on that stuff, being in the news all the time. At the end of our call, Jackson confesses, I was trying to think of lies to tell you. I was going to try and gaslight you, but I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> As evidence began piling up, people began really falling for the gag. Like TikTok user Some Small Kid, who took it upon themselves to debunk the Graggle Mandela effect theory. <laughs> Gotten Graggle Simpson. Now this character was in a lot of- Wake up everybody, it's World War Three. <laughs> Down to the fallout shelter! The bombs are dropping! Although, to give them the benefit of the doubt, they may have just been adding to the meta. And all this to say, I think Graggle Simpson is the perfect encapsulation of what has become of internet humor and culture. The effort to make these videos and screen caps. The absolute commitment to the bit. Way more committed than this mustache is. <laughs> In the name of tricking some poor Mandela effect believing scroller, it's all kind of admirable. And it's something that's entirely made possible by the current internet landscape. It's lost media obsession. It's craving for nostalgia. And it's ultimate gullibility. Have you ever heard of the Wizard of Oz hanging munchkin? The claim that in some versions of The Wizard of Oz, you can see one of the um, munchkin actors hanging from a tree in the back. When I was a kid, I 100% believed this story. And when I was told that what I thought was a grisly secret about a family classic was actually just the wing of an exotic bird, I went to YouTube and found this video, which most of you are probably familiar with. 
the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Here he is, the Wizard of a Wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, ever a wizard there was, the Wizard of Oz is one. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the Wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. a lot of us fell for this trap as kids. Most of you are also probably familiar with the fact that this video is 100% fake. And I can't help but wonder, how many kids are out there telling their friends about their favorite Simpsons character that they're convinced exists and the mysterious controversy surrounding him? Hi guys, um, welcome back. Uh, thank you for being so chill about me taking June off. Um, I'm clearly back. This was a little bit different uh, than what I usually do. I usually don't do like meme deep dives. I just really love the whole Graggle Simpson thing. And I wanted to talk about it and a little bit of the history behind it and kind of do a little d d video know your meme. <laughs> if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my content, you can subscribe. I know, crazy, did you know you can do that? If you wanted to support the channel, I will put links to my Patreon and merch down in the description. There'll also probably be a little thing showing up up here that you can click on. Um, even if you didn't like the video, you can still comment. Uh, engagement is engagement. Oh my goodness. The Flanders mustache. It's bad, guys. It's way too hot in here for this. And if you didn't like the video, Flanders. It's funny to do like this. Bye! The Simpsons themselves are an all-American family. Oop, gross.